At that time I felt comfortable being around him, you know, because I thought, fuck, this is gangster, you know. I just wanted to be a, you know, a mad guy, you know. I just wanted to be part of the scene, you know, where I'm fucking, like, where I'm noticed. Like, you know? Mad crowd, like, not, like, you know, just met the wrong people when I was growing up. But I just chose that path, bro. Fuck. Yeah, I regret it. Lawrence Tsungama, I'm 18 years old, I'm Samoan, and I'm from Diguna. Uh, I'm Monga, from Wali Park, from Cook Island, um, I'm from Achu, in Waman. I went to school in Belmo, I went to school in Belmo, going to Belmo Boys High School, I moved for about from the 70s all. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be one locked up before. Um, I was really lucky. And I did like, I did two on robs. <clears throat> robbery and company and that was the only charges I got busted for and I got a month less than a month I think and yeah I was really lucky for that I just thought oh fuck this place is going to be like crazy for me you know? I'm going to go mental in here it was really it was really bad in there man I hated it I just got out in February uh, that was the longest I've ever done it was 16 months just fucking miss my freedom bro and family. Well, because when I first came to school, I wasn't kicking it with no Islanders. But then, at the end of at the end of year nine, that's when I started to kick it with the Islanders. And then after that, fuck, everything just started going bad, you know. Yeah, I was hanging around like 20 year olds and stuff, 18 year olds, when I was around 12, and just fucking started then. But as soon as I got to high school, I thought I was, you know. I thought I'll blend in with the boys and start fucking around, but uh, yeah, I started drinking then, and I started smoking then too, smoking weed then. <laughs> I did with my mum like before, like probably once a week. She to me, said, "How's Mohammed? How's Tan? The hell, you know?" I said, "That." I'm like, "What about that?" Eh? And she said, "Oh yeah." Wow, you used to be a good boy. You used to be a very good boy when you when you hang around after you hang around with those boys. Oh. You know, like the Islander boys, oh, you, everything <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> That's what she was like, everything fucked up, fucked up. Man, I get 1.30. Been here since 9.30 in the morning. First, I want to get this over and done with. And this is really pissing me off. Um, man, tell your shit up, how do you feel like that? Most of my crimes is when I've, when I've been drunk. It's just... Every time when I'm drunk, I always think I need money. Um, probably one of the ones that I remember was probably um, the one in Belmore, my first one, the first one I've ever done. It's just me and one of my cousins. We just needed money, eh? Fucking 
So we seen a fella walking down some alleyway. I followed him and just rolled him for his phone. Just fucking, yeah, man. I was trying to make some quick money. I don't know, but fuck. I feel guilty, bro. It's just fucked up. I think the reason for Islanders, you know, go on, like the majority of Islanders go down, going down the wrong, wrong track is because like us Islanders we're known for like, you know, fighting, doing gangster shit, you know, punching on, like stealing and this and that. And like once a young Islander kid hears about it, because that was like me when I was younger. When I heard about gangster stuff with my older cousin and that, I was like, yeah, I'm down for that shit, man. I'll be a bad cunt too. I guess the majority of young Islanders like to be in that gangster shit. I have no idea. I have no, I don't understand why, but like, I guess it just thrills us, you know. We like to be, we like to, you know, be bad, you know. You don't want to hear that stuff sometimes. But like, yeah, it affected me really hard. Like, fuck. Dad passed away, you know. Like, um, my sister's death this year. Yeah, that really killed me as well. Um, and my mom, she's in hospital, she's got the breast cancer. And for all those deaths inside of me, man, yeah, it's making me feel angry, down, frustrated. I gave up my life. When I started hanging around them, <coughs> I was in a relationship and everything with my baby's mum. It had a major impact on me, like this relationship with her. You know, she, she's tried countless times to change my ways and that. Like, and the only way she, she thought that she could change me, you know. Like, and I have changed a bit, you know. Like, she kept trying to get me away from that Pacific Islander fucking that bullshit. She kept trying to get me away from that. But it didn't work. <laughs> didn't work at all. The boys I kick it with, they're good. They just, they like to drink. It's just our number one problem right now. <laughs> Gotta try guide them now. I don't want them going through the life I went through, you know? Don't want anyone to go through that life, bro. All the boys from Belmore, they all got kids now though. Yeah, everyone settled down. That's what I'm hoping to do. Settle down. Cork, believe it or not, I feel relieved to get out of that place. Um, I've got bail. And yeah, nothing's going to happen to me. No jail time, no nothing. Just a bit of community service. I've got the community. Glad to help out. But yeah, four thumbs up. Everything went well. Yeah, I got a baby girl on the way next month. Fuck, can't wait for that, bro. Just working now. Just trying to supply my, my daughter. I don't want her to know about my past. Try to give her a better life. That's what I had. Yeah, I reckon it's gonna be a big change for me. Um, especially with that little girl on the way. Fuck, she's my everything, bro. Fuck, I'll do anything to stay by her. Fuck getting locked up, man. It's not worth it. But yeah, like, yeah, I guess I'm more happier. I guess I'm more happier. I guess I'm more, like, with the whole family around, daughter, the baby's mama and everything. It makes me think, it makes me, yeah, like, um, think, what do you call it? What's that word again? Positive. Positive? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You got it, bingo. <laughs> yeah, it makes me think positive and shit. Father, your son, I'll be a daddy. I'll be for sure. I'll be a day. Did one hell of a good father to that kid. Show anything to that kid that I have never seen. Um, quite a bit of time. What do I see myself? Um, yeah, I'll be a wonderful father in five years. Have a nice job, have a house. Hopefully, have a good wife. Fuck, bitch. <laughs> Better not blame me. <laughs> <laughs>